All right, let's find David. Are you? I stopped by McCain earlier, but we went over there. Yeah. Was, uh, I was just oh, ran yeah. into uh, to Marty over there. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm all these people I'm going, I know all you people, but none of you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Got deep blue kayak fishing with me oh. from Boynton Beach. Hey, if uh, somebody wants to fish with y'all, what's the best way to get hold of y'all? Uh, definitely go to deepbluekayakfishing.com and click on the charter tab and it'll give you all the information right there. Catch everything. Sailfish, King Max, Tuna, Wahoo, you name it. We got everything. Look them up. It's insane. Watch their videos too. They got some cool footage from uh, South Florida. Catch y'all after a while. iCast 2016. What? Fun. What's up, brother? Good to see ya. You too, man. Well, what's the word? Oh, that looks good. We're called a command stand. Uh, this is Larry. We've got this adjustable um, sliding bracket here, so you loosen a couple of screws up and you can adjust the width of it to any kayak or any stand-up paddleboard. It's like a mighty mount built in, so you can put your paddle holder or whatever else you want. Clamp it right around there, you put your accessory through it using the same hardware you use for your tracks. What we've decided to do, we're going to go back and make a couple of changes. This is made with a track adapter, but we're going to redesign this track adapter so that it can be deck mounted or track adapter in the same product. That way you don't have to go get another option or have a bunch of extra parts in there that you don't need. The only right. thing with standard bars is like, what do you do with it? You're gonna put it on the boat before you go out, and then you can't really stow it because they're not stowable. A couple of pull pins here. This top crossbar comes off, so there's a pull pin here. It's got a tether on it. Everything will collapse to something that you can put inside your hat. Right. That looks good, man. Be great on the flats. Standing up, fly fishing, side casting, bass on beds. The command stand by Yak Attack. Y'all make sure you check it out at yakattack.us. Wilderness Systems has collected footage on the missing muffins from the Wilderness Systems booth. I think we found our culprit. Hey, what's happening? It's time at the Wilderness booth. I got our old buddy here, Bobby Clark. He's gonna tell us a little bit about the radar, the Radar 115 and the Radar 135, specifically for those boats, nothing okay. else. How does it work? It's really simplicity. You push it down into the hole, it clicks into place, and you start paddling. When you come to a shallow spot or you're going back to the launch, you get up close to the bank, push the pedal in with either your foot or your hand, Yeah. it pops back up, you can fold it forward if you want to. While it's in the up position, it's only got about maybe an inch or two of the skag showing underneath oh, the boat. Man, that's so that's good. no drift there at all. Let's go take a look at it. Coming up on something shallow, it's just a matter of hitting the, pe the pedal, and it really? automatically comes up. Up, oh, I've got it off, but you see if it it'll That's come up. That's a pretty up. strong spring. Yeah. Because the, uh, really? And then you just push it forward. It's a, it's a coil spring that's actually located down really? here. Oh, okay. Yeah. How, How deep is the prop yeah, so when you're pedaling? You 16 inches. The alignment, properly come up and stow it. That's pretty clever. Can you adjust the depth of the prop? No. No, okay. it's, it's, it's so going to be go. set. It, it, it's set. The pedal actually is, is creating a lock so that when you're putting force against it, mm -hmm. it doesn't move. So the drive is really easy to remove. You're just simply going to you're going to take this pin, a cotter pin here. You're going to release that cotter pin. Pull out the pull out your your um, shaft and simply remove it. Like and you're looking at uh, you're looking at approximately 12, 13 pounds. So there's a new wilderness pedal drive system. The Pescador has a pedal drive. That just happened. So, All right, so this is called the Pilot. Yeah. We got the pilot uh, from Pe uh, Perception. Basically the same guts as what you have on the radar with the Helix. A little bit different functionality as far as how you raise it and lower it into the water. A lot simpler to do. We're gonna come up here. You got a knob right here. Pull that knob. You gotta have this lined up. Wow. So line that up. Goes this down. is actually a little smaller, okay. simpler yeah. system. Yeah, it is. And then you lock it in right there. So that's all locked in. You're ready to go. Uh, six to one. Reverse. I don't like that. Still now, you're completely flush. Yeah. You're completely flush completely up against awesome. it. So you hit a flat, you can do that, and then you're just basically a kayak, regular exactly. kayak. On the pilot, they're made out of rubber. On the radar, we have brush or, uh, brushes that are in there. And what this is going to do is help keep the water turbulence low and down. You don't have a lot of noise, no splash, and all that kind of good stuff yeah. going on there. Uh, price point is $17.99. That comes with the drive on the, for the pilot. And then that's called the what? That's called the radar. Kayak, $14.39, I think, for the uh, 115 and $1,100 for the drive. You can buy that separate. That comes separate. It allows a person to purchase a kayak, and if they want to save their money up six months or a year later, then they can purchase the pedals at that time if they want to. Wait. 85. Well, there you go. There's the Pescador 12 with a drive system and the Wilderness Radar with a drive system. There's a lot of new stuff on the market out there, people. 
Thanks, Bobby. All right. Thank appreciate you, man. It, man. Appreciate it. Hey, we got more iCast 2016 coming up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time right here on 30 Miles Out.